I'm Jordan Rayner, and this is The Word Before Work. Today we're reading from 1 Chronicles 29, verses 10, 12, and 14. Here's what it says. David praised the Lord in the presence of the whole assembly, saying, Praise be to you, Lord, the God of our father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. Everything comes from you. Again, that's David speaking in 1 Chronicles 29, 10 through 14. The context of this passage adds weight to David's words. Here's the scene. David is addressing Israel in what was likely his final public address as king. The next day, Solomon will take David's place and soon become the wealthiest man on earth. What would David say at the close of his 40-year reign? He chose to focus his son and his people's attention on this truth that wealth and honor and everything good comes from God alone. This is a truth we see reiterated throughout Scripture. James said, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights. The Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians 3, 5, that even, quote, our competence comes from God, end quote. Every good thing you have, from your wealth to your success at work to the breath in your lungs is from God. What do we do with that truth? Let me suggest three responses. First, praise God for whatever wealth and results he has already given you, knowing that he will only give you the amount that is perfectly suited for your good and his glory. See Romans 8, 28 through 29. Second, Steward God's gifts according to his agenda rather than your own. Because if he's the giver of those gifts, he gets to dictate how we will use them. Third and finally, focus on inputs rather than outcomes. Now, this last response is super tough for me personally and probably you. So let me go a little bit deeper here. Let's say you're working really hard to achieve a specific goal by the end of this week. If, come Friday, you can honestly say that you pursued that goal as best as you know how, you can rest before you even know whether or not you hit your target. Not because the world tells you you are enough, but because the results were never in your hands in the first place. Because wealth and honor and success come from God alone, you can rest any time you have faithfully put in the work and the quote-unquote inputs, not just when you've achieved your desired outcome. Christian Olympian Eric Liddell once said, quote, In the dust of defeat, as well as in the laurel of victory, there is glory to be found if one has done his best, end quote. Amen. Based on that truth, work hard from a position of rest today. Today's devotional only scratches the surface of how God's word connects to our work. If you want to go deeper, sign up for my free 20-day devotional called The Word Before Work Foundations at TWBW Foundations. Com. These email devotionals are designed to help you gain a rich understanding of the biblical narrative of work, how exactly your work matters for eternity, and what those truths mean for how we ought to work today. You can sign up right now again for free at TWBWFoundations.com.